Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Megan's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be focusing on our cauliflower. Now cauliflower is rich in vitamin C. It's a natural antioxidant. It also is an anti-inflammatory. It's a very good vegetable to be using. And I'm going to make it two ways today. I'm going to make a cauliflower mashed potato or cauliflower mash and a grilled cauliflower steak. Now, if you can see it, my light's kind of bright, but see, there's my steak. And what I've done is I covered it with olive oil and I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt. I like to cook with garlic salt. It's one of my favorite ingredients to use in my home. If you're not, if you don't, if you can't have that much sodium, what I would recommend that you use is just like a sea salt or something. So I'm gonna put this on my George Foreman grill right over here, which has already been warming up. I'm gonna set that in there. Make sure it's sitting in there nice. Put the lid on that. And I'm gonna come back over here to my cauliflower mash. And so what I did with my cauliflower, let me grab a fork real quick. Is I um I boiled it and I boiled also some delicata squash. So this is the squash that we received in our veggie club shares. Both of these produce are um, from Green Fire Farm. And so I boiled them all until they were nice and soft where I could stick my fork through everything. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my squash and my cauliflower and I'm gonna add some uh, evaporated milk that I received from my Hoopa food distribution. And I'm gonna add some milk in there. I put a fourth cube of butter my light's kind of really bright, you can't really see. So I put a fourth cube of butter, and I'm going to take a blender, I'm gonna blend it around. Now you can serve this in place of mashed potatoes with your side dish, very good stuff. My kids love it. like so it's all mashed up looks like mashed potatoes and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute some um, kale and some mushrooms and add it to it so I'm gonna turn my pan on here turn my I am going to be using olive oil I received this olive oil from Spencer Hill he donated it to me for my cooking show I'm going to put a little bit in my frying pan over here. Turn my frying pan on to medium while I chop up my kale and my mushrooms. So I'm using tanuk mushrooms, our mushitake mushrooms. We've been collecting a lot of these up in our mountains. And so I've been finding different ways and creative ways to add it to my dinner. So I'm going to cut them up. And if you can hear in the background, my cauliflower on my George Foreman grill is just a grilling up. And it's really good like that. I actually seen that recipe on That's Fresh, um, Disney Junior, watching Disney Junior with the kids. There's a lady on there that um, uh, cooks healthy foods and snacks for kids that they might enjoy. And so my kids were like, Mom, you have to try that. You have to try that. So we tried it out and they really liked it. And then I'm going to take my kale, again, about a handful of kale again. Definitely adding some protein and some more antioxidants. And during this flu season, um, both kale and the cauliflower hold a lot of vitamin C richness in it. So it's very, very good for our cold and flu season. So I'm going to switch you on over here to my frying pan. So I'm going to saute that up. Oh, 
you can just smell those pan up mushrooms and just smell delicious. And what I just want to do is I just want to saute them until they wilt just a little bit. You can add salt or pepper. Since I'm um, already adding garlic salt into my mash and uh, pepper, I'm not going to add anything to my saute. But definitely saute and utilize what you want to your taste. That's the whole point of this cooking show is that we want to cook what's familiar with us. And so, like, if you cook differently for your family, you use different seasonings, you know, whether you use garlic salt, salt, sea salt, seasoning salt, or no salt, whatever, whatever works for you is what I would suggest using. using. Now, we can check on our cauliflower in here, which is doing beautifully. Now, I have a little bit of olive oil left on my plate, so I'm just going to continue to drizzle that over it. Smelling good. Oh. Now this looks really good. And I'm going to add this to my um, cauliflower mash over here. Now I'm going to stir it all together. Add a little pepper. A lot or a little, depends on you. Garlic salt, mix it up, and then I'm gonna throw it into my baking pan. Now I got my oven on 400 degrees, so I just wanna kind of brown it and bake it. Add it all together, smells delicious. And I am going to top with some mozzarella cheese. Throw it in my oven. It's going to pull out our cauliflower grill. Now what you want to do is you want to grill your cauliflower until it's soft. But here's my... Uh, grilled steak cauliflower. It's delicious. The kids will love it. And that's um, our cauliflower two ways today. I'd like to thank the programs that make this possible. I'd like to thank the Hoopa Valley Tribe, the Hoopa Food Distribution. I'd like to thank the Climate Trinity Resource Conservation District. I'd like to thank Veggie Club. And I'd like to thank um, the farmer who's been a big contributor, and that is Grady at Green Fire Farm. Uh, if you have any suggestions for an upcoming video or you are interested in on how to cook something, let me know. Um, I did cauliflower this week because Ali Hossler asked me um, some different uh, techniques in making cauliflower and also mushrooms because Teresa Mitchell asked me different ways to add mushrooms to her, her family's dish. So I integrated both of those into my recipe this week. So thank you again. I really appreciate the public and and all the people that sit there and watch my videos. Talk to you later. Bye.